everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I just wanted to come in with a very quick video just sharing the magazines that I've purchased. A lot of you messaged me asking which magazine the daffodil dye, for example, has come from, um, which magazines I like to subscribe to, which ones I've purchased this month. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video showing them this way. So the first one is Simply Cards and Paper Craft. This is issue 188, and this is the one that everybody is going crazy for, and that's because it has the free Altenew daffodil layered dye. Now I know that it's landed in Australia the last few days because some of you have been sharing your pictures and your excitement that you finally got your hands on it. So hopefully it is pretty much now worldwide. I would imagine the States you should be getting them as well and I know some of the Michael Storrs stock magazines and understandably yeah there are going to be ones that are a bit later and you may get them you know three four weeks later um unfortunately it's just how it goes but these things don't date you know a daffodil dye is going to be something you're going to use time and time again so yeah issue 188 simply cards and paper craft i will share a little link up here to some of the cards that i've made using it and um, as always um these magazines are just jam-packed full of amazing inspiration the all of the the crafters in our magazines are fantastic and um yeah that's all i'm going to say about that i'm not going to go into it too much detail because it'll be a surprise for those of you that obviously are waiting for it or you know are going to be getting it so that's that one then i've also got this one here which i was so excited for because it has spot the dog now um i think spot the dog is everywhere i mean it's a it's, it was a book that i had as a young child um so i think this is i mean let me know this is the the eric and Gillian hill family so i know that they they wrote the book um yeah i had it as a young girl and um it's just brilliant and it's one of these timeless stamp sets which you can use for well here you've got party invite new home birthday card um and i've made a couple and these ones were well, made three actually so now spot the dog is very bold and simple lines um and there's there's not much detail as such going on like there's no you don't really have a background if you ever see the book or you've you know you've seen the i think there was a cartoon as well i'm really trying to think back now um but anyway it's very it's just a block color so these cards represent that style really so you can see there they are very bold and um, and simple but I like that style so I've got this little new home one I fussy cut them all and put them on some foam adhesive and there's that one there and I've just colored these with my um, watercolor pencils and then that one there as well and just really like them so I just had a play around with them but it's one of those ones that I just thought I need to have for when I get asked to do you know a birthday card for maybe a, you know a small child perfect like i said they're the party invitations um and you've got the little bunnies and the chicks which are great for easter so there's you know there's quite a few things that you'll use that for but also this was like the little extra with creative stamping magazine every single month you get a a4 sheet of stamps now let me just take this out of the package this one here is another one of those classic stamp sets because if you have pets or friends with pets pretty much everybody will know someone with a with a dog or a cat or a fish then grab this stamp set it's fantastic and the stamps are also big i mean see here's my hand there and it's just it's it's huge this chair stood out for me because you can put all of these wonderful little creatures in the chair You've got really lovely puns, you've got you are awesome, have a furry happy birthday, have a perfect day, birthday fishes and there's a, it's a really lovely um, image there of the fish in the um, fish bowl and I just thought that was lovely because you don't see that a lot, sorry you're feeling rough, <laughs> many hoppy returns and you've got the bunny and the carrot again, that's perfect for Easter. Forever friends, you've got little mouse there toy, you've got a single a singular, you've got a yeah, single bow. So you can, you know, add that bow to all these animals. Um, you've got the little rope there, the bone, pug and kisses. It's brilliant. So again, if you can ever get your hands on these A4 size stamps, they they're always great because they do themes. So um yeah, I just think they work brilliantly. Look there, you've got the little kind of bandana, the gorgeous little dashhound dog there, which is my favourite dog. 
little hat ball there's just so many little parts of this and the cat there with its the yarn fish food the little flower honestly it's just it's brilliant and all the dogs are just the wonderful wonderful images so i'm so pleased i managed to get that one and then there is the magazine again full of inspiration always loads of great ideas in the magazines and you can see there what i mean by the the spot the dog see the the inspiration there is just a real block red background and then you know the spot the dog coloured in so that is the style but by all means I mean you can add shading and, and anything to it it's entirely up to you and you can just see some of the inspiration there again I'm not going to go into it too much but you can see I mean that's just another idea there that they've done with the spot the dog um, stuff that we got there so this one here is let me just tell you the prices so it's 8.99 UK obviously prices will vary all these magazines are available worldwide I will share the links below the craft stash links that I share are affiliate links so all that means is that I get a small percentage like a commission um, but it's no extra charge to you and they offer 20% off for your first purchase so if you are outside of the UK I think it's free postage over fi um, over 15 pound in the UK but if you're outside of the UK, that 20% off will help cover the um, international postage charges. So have a little look around. I mean, I guess I can't really look into that too much until I physically go to the checkout. So, um, but they are, all these magazines are available for worldwide shipping. And then the last one I wanted to share was this one here, which is by Card Making a Papercraft. This is issue 193 and it's the March issue. And let me just say that was issue 68 as well for that one. And again, it's a really lovely set. It's slightly smaller than a A4 size. And this is a 40 piece stamp set and it's Happy Travels. And the reason I like this, again, I haven't got any stamps like this, but you've got this really lovely caravan. It's like a vintage style caravan. You've got the old style car there. You've got a Vespa. But I love all these, these extra pieces, like the little... Um, Suitcases stacked up there, you've got the old vintage plane, you've got hot air balloons. So again, things that you can mix in. These three hot air balloons you can have as a, you know, for a new baby card. You've got these lovely little sentiments, lovers in the air, congratulations, the sky's the limit, and just married. And you've got the little um kind of the smoke from the exhaust leaving kind of the heart shape there. So you can have that coming out the back of the car here or from the caravan. You've got the VW camper van little passport, little tickets and I have gone, I haven't got to use them yet but they also give you a die for the Vespa and also for, there's like a little um, banner uh, die there for those little sentiments. So I, didn't, I haven't made any cards with this one yet nor with the A4 dogs but you will see those coming but I have gone ahead and done these ones and I went and sat down one evening and just coloured them. You can see what I mean there, there's your three hot air balloons. I'll bring them up a bit closer in a second the Vespa, the VW. I mean, I was kind of just playing around with whatever colours I wanted, really. There's still a few more I still need to do, but this is what I've got so far. I mean, just look at that little postcard. How dinky is that? And there's the little, oh, grab that one. It's the little ticket. Again, I've just used my watercolour pencils with these, but these look lovely, these hot air balloons. I've just done some shading there. Really, really pleased with those. And I love the car. This reminds me of Mr. Bean. That's where I got my inspiration for in the, the colours for the car and the suitcase there. So again, if you know Mr. Bean or if you Google Mr. Bean, then you'll know what I'm on about. But I used to love watching that and still do. So yeah, so that's those ones there. So I just thought I would just share these ones because I will be using them. You'll see them pop up in my blog. I'll share all the links as always there. But whilst they're current and around now, although most of these places do have back copies as well. So I know that Craft Stash, they have um, older copies of magazines and um, yeah, so you shouldn't, you shouldn't have any problems getting hold of these. As far as I'm aware, there is stock available in all of them, but um, I think the one you'll be still trying to get is this one because it's ultra new and it's just fantastic. But I would highly recommend this one as well. If you, you know, like I said, if you love doing cards that you make for people or people like kind of do orders with you, you know, I think pet ones are always popular um, and the fact that they've got the fishes on there as well as like the bunny and stuff I think is, is really good and the little dog basket I forgot that one as well so yeah so there we have it so I just thought I'd show you those ones a couple of cards that I've made and some of those little stamped images that I've already coloured I'm going to do some more because you know I love doing the watercolouring and just relaxing um, and preparing these stamps really so yeah so like I said all the links will be shared below and um, I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial thanks for watching bye